What's going on, everybody? So today I'm taking a look at Deflector. So this popped up on my Steam page and just looked like a top-down, twin-stick, roguelite action game. But the art direction looked interesting, so I decided to check it out. But let's go ahead and get started. Forced removal of iteration requested. Awaiting response. Removal. Eliminating sample data. Interesting. It's like a biology lab of some kind. Raw profile 639894. Is this a loading screen or a cinematic? Experiment is ready to begin. Oh, interesting. Specimen, good to see you again. So it is twin stick. I did remember that correctly. You may be experiencing issues with your cognitive systems, so I'll need to check if you're operating normally. Checking vitals, checking DNA assimilation rate. Let's run a few tests to make sure your directives are working. So this is... Can I play with a controller? I can play with a controller. All right, that is what I will be doing. Evading threats with left trigger, okay. Okay, so I've got, I didn't notice that. I've got little, I've got a limited amount of dashes shown by those diamonds there. Immunity, introducing a simple threat. Perform two immune system deflections. Ah, okay. Oh, I have to hit them. Okay. Some projectiles can't be deflected. Perform two immune system deflections. So is this just me recognizing? Okay, so yellow can't be deflected. Red can. Did the eye glow yellow too, or did it just shoot yellow? Introducing simple threat. Eliminate to proceed. Ooh, interesting. Is it gonna... It's not going to attack. So I've got a boomerang. Deflecting the boomerang. That's... Ah. That's cool. Non-standard specimen behavior. Specimen's active ability charges while in combat. Eradicator's ability allows you to throw two boomerangs. Okay. Introducing new mutation to the environment. Interact with the mutation to proceed. Okay, so these are power-ups. Decoy, taking damage summoned to decoy, distracts nearby enemies. Dealing damage based on your health attribute. Or homing laser, fire, dashing fires a laser at a nearby enemy. I mean, gotta go with dashing laser, right? Okay, so red. Red, is this only gonna shoot red? <laughs> Trying to see if the eye changes color, so I know, if I see the enemy, if I know what to expect. Initiating incremental threat test. Eliminate threats to proceed. Okay, so... Alright, red eyes. Still red eyes. So, still can't check that. Specimen cleared for field testing. Okay. Something I was saying but didn't articulate as I was reading is I have a limited amount of dashes that are represented by those diamonds there below my character, which is similar to what was the game called? Curse of the Old Gods, I believe. But I wasn't I wasn't crazy about that game. Everything seems to be in order. Let's put your skills to the test. Check on Oogles. The water bear has gotten rather attached to you. So, so am I like a... I'm a microscopic organism? Well, maybe organism is generous. Specimen. I won't interfere from now on. I'll be waiting for you in the hub as soon as you're back. Okay. So this is a cell extraction node. The water bear transports me. Okay, whoa. Whoa. 
so that's okay so that's cells I've earned and then there's a cell exchange node later I presume um, I actually don't see one, but it's in the legend. So this is a growth node. Looks like health. Okay, so growth gives you perks. Attack, increase your attack attribute, which affects damage. Increase your deflect attribute, which affects the damage. <laughs> Let's go with raw attack. Oh yeah, and then homing laser. Oh, I guess I'll check that out later. So I did notice there is a timer below my health bar. So I guess these are timed runs to an extent. Hmm. I did not mean to do that, but I guess it's better to use it than to not use it. Did I just take damage? I think I did. So these are mutation sources. There's one... Nope, there's not one enemy here, unless... Oop, I walked into that one. I'm only taking one damage. Where's the rest? There they are. And then I guess there's a... An elite enemy or something here? That... Somewhere. Nope, I guess not. Deflecting turrets. Every six deflects, a deflecting turret is summoned that deflects projectiles passing through its radius. Or decoy, which again, taking damage, drops a decoy. Let's go with the deflect power-up. These are safe points, which I will assume heal me. Oh, I can talk. Nope, travel. Whoops. Well, I guess... <laughs> My mistake. Um, I will assume those are health, like healing, healing nodes. Uh, oh, is this a boss? Not just a boss, Robo boss. So every six deflects, it drops the turret. There's the turret. Wasted. There's rings suggesting I go here. Exit world. Stage zero completed. New virus sample. So I am like a microscopic specimen, seems like. Ooh. Oh, so these are characters, I guess. Yeah, because that's very clearly me. Okay, so there's five characters. No, six. Can't count. Five I don't have yet. It's all this. Is that Bastion? There's the water bear. Pet. Okay. I can't dash or get over to those places from the looks of things, so I guess I just leave. Enter. Ah. Looks like your bio shell handled it well. Lots of questions. I do indeed. Ah, so that's Deflector. Artificial intelligence tasked with taking care of this place and making sure that the experiments are running smoothly. Seems, uh, seems a little familiar. And that includes helping you. Your main objective is to destroy the source of the virus, which is spread throughout the different areas that we have available. I will provide you with all the support you need to increase your chances of success after each failed iteration. That's all the information I can share for now. Time to start the experiment. Ah, so there's different game modes. Interesting. But right now I just have standard experiment. 
This is the hub from where you will be able to explore all the zones affected by the virus. Explore them in any order. Every world provides you with different challenges. Also, don't forget, you're fighting a living organism. It means after you've cleared one zone, it can affect another, making it harder. So plan your route. Ah, okay. And I guess this is, I start with some ability. Let's start with an offensive ability. Blossom. Summon Blossom, a bot that periodically shoots nearby enemies, dealing damage based on your attack value. Killing an enemy close to you summons a disc that spins around you for some time. So far, all I've seen are... I, won't, I haven't seen that many enemy types. Let's go with Blossom, which sounds like it's just an automat automatic bot. Yep. Okay, and there were four different zones. Talk to you. Hello, specimen. I'm on duty. Looking for a lost bioshell. Can you help me? Great. Why don't you look behind the... Take a look behind the blood waterfall. Um, the blood waterfall, you say. Ah, okay, so I can see the names, so that's Toxic Sea, Hollow Hive, I will assume this is the Blood Waterfall? Nope, Living Entrails, probably where the Blood Waterfall is located. The Magnetic Fields. I will assume Living Entrails is where the Blood Waterfall is. Hey, look, Waterfall? Maybe blood? Can I walk in this? I can. Um, interesting. So those are mutation sources. So some look to be corrupted or affected by these black splotches, but they have exclamation points on them. Maybe those are more difficult. So there's a great virus, which are mini-bosses, from the looks of things. And then the apex virus, which is just the boss. There are nests, which I don't... Are there any nests here? Not that I can see. So, not sure what a nest, nest node does. But let's go ahead and go with... Oh yeah, here we go. Affected by Anomaly, proceed with caution. Let's go for it. Let's go for the growth. Dead enemies heal nearby ones. Okay. Okay. What is this? Um. Oh, okay. Where... There they are. Soundtrack is really good. Increase the attack attribute. Volatile, okay. Soundtrack sounds really good. I think I bought the soundtrack. If I didn't, I don't know why I wouldn't. Exterminate all threats to obtain a mutation. Survive long enough and you will be able to upgrade a mutation. Let's go for a new mutation. You move slowly. Well, good thing I have a dash. These I can... Whoa. Okay, so my active ability, or I already forgot what it's called. It isn't necessarily like an ultimate. It seems to just seems to charge pretty quickly, so I don't need to be too frugal with it. And I got the thing. Explosive metabolism taking damage causes you to release a wave that destroys projectiles and deals damage. Let's just upgrade Blossom. I'm curious what the other characters are like, because I don't think I've played a game like this that has get some rest here and restore your health. Okay, so I was right. It, these are just healing nodes. I don't know that I've played a game 
like this that has a boomerang character. I guess Hades kind of does, depending on your uh, shield build, but... It's very interesting that this is the starting character. Ooh, I can't... Cannot deflect yellow. Probably could have activated my double boomerang ability, but didn't think about it. So more growth before a mini boss. Let's go. Let's go for growth. Lose some health each time you run out of dash charges. So don't dash. Is that is that what I'm hearing? And you know, having double boomerangs will certainly help mitigate needing to use dashes. Where's the last one? There they are. Attack and health. Let's raise health this time. Alright, living entrails, great virus, serious threat. Ooh, there's two. This bastions, okay. Okay, ooh. I did not dash properly. Okay, got one. Okay, so it's kind of kind of bullet hell aspects of it too and I believe that's what got me interested in the first place growing boomerang your boomerang increases in size the more you deflect it for every two consecutive times you deflect the boomerang it releases a damaging explosion I think bigger is better and if I'm wrong I will learn that I'm wrong uh, let's go save point because I have taken some damage or safe point they do heal me okay so they did not fully heal me Healed 27. Dead enemy. Okay, so anomalies are just extra challenges or extra effects on the room. It's not necessarily you fight more difficult things or more difficult enemies. Probably should not have dodged right into them. Ooh, cannot deflect yellow. Thanks, Blossom. Deflect attribute increases. So you can increase your deflect, but it just... it Increasing your deflect just increases the amount of damage your deflect does. Which, at least maybe for this character, doesn't seem terribly worth it. Um, let's go to the cell exchange, which I assume is a shop. Looks like it is. I have 430. I can buy minefield. Bomb spirit periodically spawn. That's also minefield. Deflective swiftness. Deflecting three or more projectiles restores a dash charge. Or just in increase your core attributes. Let's go minefield. And then remaining increase attributes. And I assumed I could only pick one. Let's go ahead and go with deflect. And then I leave over here. Yep, there's the water bear. Alright, let's... Is there another healing node? There's not another healing node. But there's also several nodes to the end. Let's let's go ahead and heal. Wait. Did I pick the wrong node?
I may have picked the wrong node inadvertently. Okay, so these are the waves on the top. That's it looks like it's it's the wave count. Okay, it looks like my active skill does carry across rooms. So I can save it for more difficult rooms. I don't have to use it right away. Pick up. Uh, let's go health. I guess I picked the wrong room on accident. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, that's my mistake. Let's go ahead and use it. Ooh, so these are minefields. Or not minefields, but spike traps. These, these things here. I gotta watch the camera, because looking in one direction moves it quite a bit. So it looks like yellow health bars will potentially throw yellow projectiles, if, if I'm observing correctly. And taking damage and walking into projectiles will damage you. Yeah, so these are like spike traps, okay. I can't dash through these spikes when they're up, good to know. And these don't really shoot anything. He's kind of just charge. Let's go to the cell exchange. Oh, I only have 90 cells. This was pointless. I could have had Blossom. And it looks like there's different... Ooh. Is the... Select? No. Touch bar. Oh, here we go. So it looks like there's different things. Yeah, so there's weakness effects, there's volatile effects, where enemies affected by the status will explode. Okay, and then poison, I assume. Yep, and frozen. Okay, so different. So there. So the. Uh, what am I trying to say? The perks I can pick up can have different effects that they'll apply. So that applies, or that creates some kind of build diversity, in case there's a limited number of perks. Doesn't seem like it gets that much. Now, now that's bigger. That's much bigger. But it doesn't seem like it does more damage. It just gets bigger. But bigger means easier to hit. Okay. And it looks like the yellow projectiles are kind of random, so you can't always bet that they will come out first or last. Um... Oh, it's this way. And the Apex Virus. That looks pretty big. Horned Giant. Oh, that's the order. Okay. That's not forecasting what he will do. I meant to dodge. So he's going middle. Oh, 
Oh, I can't go back. I thought I could go further back there. Ooh, that's not... I meant to dodge. Not bad. Who are you, brother? Don't be alarmed. I'm Venator. I've been keeping a close eye on you. You can definitely hold your own against these visceral creatures. You have no idea how many they've killed. I also help deflect her by doing field work. I've decided... I've dedicated myself to observing Apex viruses and learning how to use their great power for their own, our own benefit. This is a nucleolus extractor. It will activate right at the moment you kill those monstrous beasts, extracting a part of their core before they start to regenerate. Mmm. In fact, you have one right there. Bone Whirlwind. Use your active ability surrounds you with a whirlwind of bones that deal damage. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> That's even larger of a Bone Whirlwind than I was expecting. Ah, okay, so each... So you have to clear each area in each run. Got it. Let's go... Magnetic Fields. How much can I explore here? Much more than I anticipated. Um, I doubt there's anything worth finding, though. Looks to be the case. Let's heal, first thing. 29, okay. I don't know what that percentage is. It seems like it's maybe 25%. Of health. Electric orbs around the room. I thought I had my active skill. Where's the last ones? Oh, that's not an enemy. I can't. I might be able to dash through there, but I hit the wall. Okay. I'm still getting used to what these particle effects look like. So is a purple health bar like... Close combat. No, that's what I want. Maybe. I don't know what being in this field does, if anything. But it seems okay. Alright, I can dash through the lightning. Good to know. And then my enemies are this way. Bolstered strike. Your next enemy hit with your primary weapon after you deflect... Takes bonus damage. I feel like that's good. Because I have something that I want to deflect. Yeah, the growing boomerang. So I assume that works with that. Hopefully it does. Um, let's go sell extraction. Because I think, is there a shop coming up? Not for a while. <laughs> um, yeah, let's still, let's still do that. It's definitely doing more damage when I reflect it. I think. Maybe maybe I ref maybe I caught a projectile in there with it. Honestly, it's kind of hard to tell.
Oh, so these are like electric satellite orbs. It does feel kind of difficult to aim the boomerang. not see that enemy there. So maybe it's not bolstering my next attack when I deflect my boomerang. Can I not get rid of this? Okay, it expires. So I can go to either upgrade or cell extraction. Let's go cell extraction. I can't tell if there's a visual indicator of when my deflect is up or not. It doesn't seem like there is. It just seems like I can't do it right after I have already done one. But I can do them pretty quickly from the looks of things. More cell extractions. And then there's a healing node after the mini boss. So hopefully I don't take too much damage. Or, you know, die. <laughs> Do I not have mine anymore? I don't think I've seen mines drop at all. No, I do. Bombs periodically spawn around the room. I guess they're just not spawning near me, if they are still spawning. Or maybe... Oh, no. No, no, no. Those mines must be those electric balls. So the mines must be different in each uh, area? That's interesting. Okay, so those are my mines. They're just not explosive mines like they were in the Living Entrails, I believe is what it was called. Okay, so the mines change from area to area. That's interesting. What is this? Obelisk. Oh, what is this? Okay, so lots of things I cannot deflect. Am I even damaging it? I am damaging it. Ooh, that's not... Okay. This isn't going great. Although I think I'm getting the hang of it now. Seems like I do want to take out those towers. 
even though they're not directly damaging the mini boss. That's not great. So now I can damage him. Okay. And I can damage it without them there. It just gives me a better shot, I guess. Because there's fewer projectiles. Ooh, um, yeah, I'm gonna eat that. close. Explosive boomerang, side boomerangs. Let's go with... Exp okay, well now I have both. <laughs> Let's not misselect. Let's go to heal. It does look like it's like a 25% heal. Which is helpful, obviously. Better than nothing. But it also uh, wouldn't wouldn't hurt if it had, you know, a little, little more. Maybe 30%. Hmm. I didn't even notice the anomaly is all enemies have a chance to fire unblockable or undeflectable projectiles. There's the last ones. There they are. Not too terrible. Let's go. Let's increase health. Because something. Yeah, the Bone Whirlwind does more damage based on my health attribute. So that makes sense to pick. Um, okay, one node. Oh, this is... okay. Probably don't want to hang out here too much. Okay. I'm starting to get a feel for the enemy types. please. Especially because the Apex Virus is coming up. So I'm not going to be able to spend this, but I'm sure there'll be another shop in another area. Oh, I walked right into it. I don't... I might have walked into a projectile, but I didn't really see it because of the Bone Whirlwind. I tried to press K 
can I, I wonder if I can rebind my buttons, because I do not like that the dash is on the left trigger. In fact, if I live here, let me see if I can do just that. Let's see, settings, controls, main attack, I can change it. So back is B, DNA board is Y. What is back? Just like, go back? Why is that its own keybind? Let's put dash on A. I, this isn't even dash, what am I doing? Let's put dash on B, and then I don't know what this back is, but I'll just swap these two. Unless back is cancel, but that feels, this feels much better. Because I need to, like, I guess maybe, maybe the idea is that I should be dashing or, no, I can do both at the same time. So I don't know, I don't know why they chose to put it like that. Whoa. I just tried to dash with the wrong button. Okay, I see. So, <laughs> now moving the camera is, and trying to dash is a little, is a little much. So let's, let, let's just put it back. I'll get used to it. I just did the wrong button again. Okay, so you can see which is which on that attack. It's just you have to pay attention. <laughs> so I deflected it, but it hurt me. Maybe maybe a, a projectile hit me. a lot to keep track of okay so research levels looks like I'm unlocking more perks or mutations sorry projectile storm while it's okay lightning strike when you deflect a projectile oh when hit by a when hit by a deflected projectile okay so when got it when it hits enemies they can be struck by lightning electro shield Receiving a shield that blocks incoming damage for a few seconds. If the shield remains intact at the end of that time, it explodes, releasing a wave that destroys projectiles. Walking Tesla coil. Deflecting more than three projectiles causes you to electrocute nearby enemies as you move. Okay. And then electrical storm, killing two or more within a short time, summons a lightning bolt to strike a nearby enemy. Got it, got it. Hello again, specimen. I see you're curious about the pods. They contain other bioshells, which can change the way you combat the virus. Got it. So they're not characters within the lore. They're different suits that I inhabit, basically. 
Once they become available, you can switch between them and approach your combat style in a different way. One has already been prepared. Try switching to a different Bioshell now. So this is Eradicator. This is Slasher. I didn't even read that. So Boomerang, Deflect, Boomerang Fury, Swiftness, move faster while your boomerang is in the air. I didn't even notice that I was doing that. That might be why I walked into things so much. Slash with your sword, you can do a three strike combo, hold to release and throw, radial slash, so same thing as deflect ability, just different name, and I guess different, if it's a radial slash, that sounds like it's all around me. Multi slash, become untargetable and spawn several energy clones that attack nearby enemies. Each attack will always try to target a new enemy if possible, interesting. Repeated hits deal less damage, got it. And then basic attacks, charge up rage. Rage is consumed when throwing your sword or hitting with radio slash. Increasing and consuming rage. Ah, so these are the things that I can get or have gotten from each biome. That's the... Water bear. The good part is that you remember everything. Let me explain how it can come in handy. All the DNA samples you had collected were safely extracted. The more you collect, the more we learn about the virus, allowing me to develop new ways to fight it. Of course, upgrade station. Is that... Oh, it's here. Permanent and activated upgrades. These upgrades will grant you effects that will help you during the experiment. Main worker. Ah, Bastion, yes. This is Carl OS. He'll be providing you with useful data about your research progress. I recommend to talk to him when you have time. That's it for now. Well, I think I have time right now. Alphabetical categor categorization was rejected, meaning I'll need to go back to organizing them by number, core number of cores again. Yeah, please talk to me. Thank you. We need to make sure we understand what we're fighting. Talk to me anytime you want to view your current research progress. Got it. Whoa. There. Okay, so there's a lot of mutations. Interesting. Yeah, don't know what it's trying to tell me I'm doing here. Maybe it's just highlighting where I can talk to him. Um, but yeah, I think that's a good stopping point. So far, seems interesting. Obviously, the more stuff I get, the easier things will probably go. And uh, the more frames I get, the more playstyles I'll get. So, yeah. Excited to see how this keeps going. Keeps shaping up.